Well, we're back to the saga of the O2 Lincoln 4.6. Front wheel drive, no fun, <laughs> 4.6. I got it apart. That was a feed in its own. A buddy of mine, Kyle, helped me a lot on this. Thanks, buddy. Um, but anyway, uh, so the whole story behind this thing was I got it. It would run. It actually ran pretty good. Sounded strong, but it had... I could hear a rattle in it. And at first I thought it was a rod knock, but it wasn't. It was a timing chain rattling. And then um, it would run really rich because when I originally got it, the uh, guy said that it would run rich, then die. And then it would fire back up sometimes. Sometimes it wouldn't. So I got it running. Um, it ran pretty good except for it smelling extremely rich. And if you let it run for 15, 20 minutes, then finally it would die. Um, and there wasn't a miss on the tack. I had a code reader hooked up to it. It uh, didn't pull any colds, had good fuel pressure. Everything was good. Um, except for I could hear that rattle in it. So I was like, okay, well, let's see what that is. And I first I just disconnected the serpentine belt and... Made sure it wasn't like a noisy water pump or a bad idler or something like that. And then uh, I got to digging into it, got it apart. That was a whole adventure on its own. Um, and then, um, so I put it at top dead center, or pretty close. It might need to go a little more yet. I'm not sure. I got to pull number one spark plug and verify that. But according to Ford, that, that, timing cam gear or whatever you want to call it, it should that dot is supposed to be at 11 o'clock and i don't think it's actually quite at 11 o'clock and this and then this lump is supposed to point at the crankshaft and it seems like it's a couple teeth off i could be wrong uh, i mean it looks like i mean it's pointing in the vicinity but i feel like it's pointing more under it um so I don't know. I think it maybe have ju has jumped time like by like one or two teeth. Because if you look down here, um, let's see, uh, let's see, it's a little ahead yet, I think. But um, you know, even if I turned it that little bit, it really wouldn't do what I want it to do. And then if I did that, the keyway would move. And this keyway. Is supposed to point up at the other cam gear, and it does, and it lines up to 11 o'clock on that. That's why I think maybe it's jumped a tooth or two. I should see if this is a aftermarket timing gear because the other thing that worries me is there's yellow paint in here on it, and this looks like somebody has already done the tensioners. And I'm just thinking, this car doesn't have a lot of miles on it. It only has like, God, I think it only is like 119,000 or something. And I'm just wondering if they put it back together. And when they put it back together, maybe the timing, the camshafts shifted a tooth or two when they put it all back together. Maybe they didn't have the tool because I was originally not going to buy the tool. But then after I dug into it, I decided that I was going to get the tool. But, um, and I'm waiting for that to show up. Once that shows up, we'll put the chains, the sprockets, whatever's in that kit's going on this thing, the guides, everything. And then we're going to drop the oil pan, put a uh, new oil pump in it, and hopefully that fixes the drivability issue because I really think that since I think it's off time, a couple teeth, I think that's probably what's happening but, because there was no codes on the code reader, anything like that, um, if any of you guys have any tips or anything, hey, I'm all ears. I'm trying to learn about this thing. I've never worked on a 4.6, especially this is a 4-valve, 32-valve one, you know, an O2. And there is, just doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of information on this particular one. So I've been actually watching the Mustang videos on these to get it figured out but uh, like I said 
if you guys know something, leave a comment, point me in the right direction on this thing. Cause, uh, I'll admit I probably should have pulled the engine when I did this, but it seemed like someone said you could do it this way. So I was like, well, fuck it. I'll do it this way. I've worked on plenty of front wheel drives where I haven't pulled the engine to do shit. So I thought, why not?